Hey guys, what's up? RxBots here, and I am finally back for another video. Uh, I apologize for not having many videos out, but um, this one I am fairly sure is going to be worth it because I am very proud of this video. It took me quite a while to get this, but it's very. Uh, I made a very simplistic and awesome design, and I think you guys will like it. So let's get started. Uh, what I've constructed for you today is a uh, pretty much the ultimate troll tool, and I call it the curse box um, because it does one of it does pretty much two of two things. Um, it, it, one, is a curse. You pretty much can't get rid of it, um, however, it is possible for it to be lifted. And two, well, geez, it just makes people curse. <laughs> so, um, basically what it is, is it's a time bomb. However, what an admin would do, if an admin, if a player ticked off an admin or something like that, um, basically what the admin would do is just drop this box right above their house. And they would have to do two things. One is edit a command block, and two was rotate a dispenser, because for some reason, world edit doesn't like dispensers that much. Um, and after that's done, then it's all up to the player. So let me explain how this works. Um, sign says, I'm sorry, you've been cursed by wood I am. Place as many arrows as you can into the hopper all at the same time. The more arrows you put in, the more time you have before it explodes. Do not attempt to break this block. This box. It will explode as soon as one, bo one block of the box has been broken. If you fail to put, your, put in your arrows, the box will explode at midnight. Ask Woody if you have any questions. Now, this box actually isn't going to explode at midnight because over there I have a uh, constant daytime machine. But I can disable that just for an example. Um, and I'm, I'll paste another one down in just a minute. Anyway, um, so basically, if you didn't get it from that right there, um, it's a player determined time bomb. So what the player will do is they'll have to put in uh, arrows and assert just enough arrows for the, um, you know, for however long they want to live, pretty much. So if the player feels like, you know, not dying for... Uh, 10 minutes, then they would put in 10 arrows, or I'll probably most of the time be however many arrows the player had. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let's just say, oh no, I only have two arrows, and yeah, I only have two arrows, so I'm going to go ahead and put in two arrows, and you'll hear, you'll hear a tick, chick, 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 you, you, you just hear some things. Okay, so... After two minutes, this thing is going to explode. Now, um, the reason this works is because um, whenever a arrow is fired, it will despawn after either two minutes, um, entities are cleared, or, or sorry, one minute, entities are cleared, or somebody picks it up. So if I just slash that clear, you'll see that arrow um, goes away. I'm just going to shoot another arrow right there so you'll be able to see. And there it goes. So, um, I think that one might have had a bit of an error, because the first arrow failed. However, you still saw that it exploded nice and easy. Um, now, the second one I'm going to show you is even more so fun. So, let's just say I'm the kind of player that says, you know what? Screw this kind of crap. I'm not letting Moody destroy my stuff, I'm going to break all this crap. Wait, what? Well, damn. And you just got your face blown off. Good job, sir. Um, so I'm gonna undo that and undo that and paste down another. All right. So the third thing, I'm gonna run over here real fast and um, turn off my automatic daylight machine by snapping that redstone's neck and coming back here. Um, so I'm gonna do slash time night, and as soon as that moon reaches the peak of the sky. Uh, I'm just gonna keep adding. Oh, there it goes. As soon as it's midnight, skadoosh! And it explodes. Um, so there's basically three different ways you can just totally get screwed with this thing. Um, and it's, it's quite, quite some fun, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> quite some fun indeed. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn that to daytime. And turn my speed to one and clear my inventory. So I'm sure you guys are dying for a tutorial. Um, and well, let's just say a tutorial is what you shall get. So what you're going to need is um, you're going to need a couple different colors of wool. I just like to use different colors because it's easier to keep track of. I think you're really only going to need two. Uh, you're going to need a dispenser, some comparators, um, obviously some repeaters, most definitely some redstone, some torches, most obviously some hoppers. Um, and obviously some TNT and pistons, but we'll get into that later. 
Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and get a couple blocks off the ground. So I'm just going to build, start building right here. Um, and just put down any block you want. Now, first thing you want to do is put a dispenser down and have at least two or three um, hoppers running into it. So I'm just going to put four just for demonstration purposes, but um, you know, two or three works. Two is the minimum, though. Um, and you'll be and you'll have to see the redstone from the outside. So I would say at least three. Um, the next thing you want to do is come over here, one block away, and place down a wooden button right there. Um, so after that, you want to go ahead and place a block there, there, and there. Put a repeater there, redstone there, and redstone there. Okay. So now, basically, we already have a system. Um, we don't have a trigger yet, but we already have a system where if we put an arrow in here, or a lot of arrows, and we press this button, then, oh, that one missed. There we go. And then as soon as that arrow is picked up, oh, wait, my bad. <laughs> Gotta put a redstone torch here. That's more like it. Okay. Um, so you'll see that it'll just keep on going. I'll pick up the arrows, it'll fire another one, and it'll keep on going until either A, the curse is lifted, and you'll see what happens there, and that's when it misses, and it has a 10% chance of missing about, um, or B, it runs out of arrows and explodes the thing. Um, so, yeah, okay, you get the point. Um, it just basically just continually shoots arrows until it runs out. Uh, the next thing you want to do is place or place... Um, let's just go ahead and grab another color of wool, how about blue, and place our, uh, two blocks there, uh, place repeaters on both of them, and the f first repeater, this repeater, is going to lead into this block. This repeater is going to lead to the ignition. So, um, let's do this repeater first, because it doesn't matter how you get there as long as they're there. So, let's put a block here, put some redstone on it, put a... Repeater facing that way, make that go into a block, have this come over here, and this leads down into that. Uh, I think that's actually how I had done it on my uh, actual design. And make sure you have a redstone repeater going into there, um, just, you know, for extra measure. Alright, now we want to go ahead and lead this one, and just for good measure, I'm going to make this a different color, our ignition. Um, ignition is quite simple. Uh, basically, all you have to do for the ignition is have it reversed somehow. So I'm just going to put a torch here, and down here, I'm going to put some redstone. And down here, I'm going to have our ignition. So now, this right here is going to be our ignition. So uh, as, soon as, the, uh, as soon as it runs out of arrows, then boom, boom, boom. Alright, now finally, you're going to want to put a repeater here. And put that down, and it doesn't matter what color. And lead this down into a piston system. Uh, and all the piston's going to do is push the TNT into the right place. So you're going to want at least three full repeaters of delay. Just to make sure that it doesn't accidentally ignite the TNT. Four is actually better. I'm just going to do four for good measure. However, um, you can see it's already getting sort of big. I think it's already bigger than the other one just because... Uh, I don't know why I'm saying good measure a lot today. Um, anyway, go ahead and drop a piston. Uh, it could be sticky. doesn't really matter. I would suggest saving your slime balls for blowing stuff up, though. Um, yeah. In case you guys haven't been on my server, slime balls, uh, they, they make fun things happen. <laughs> um, anyway, um, and then you just want to place down your TNT. I'm going to use, let's just say, Mossy Cobble for now, because that's the first block that I found. Um, and just place your TNT like this. Now, you want to leave this into here. Anywhere, doesn't matter, as long as it's not right next to the piston. And break that block. Uh, so now, as soon as this gets signal, it's going to push the TNT in position. Uh, and basically, you're done. Like, that's practically all it is. It's very simple. So, I'm just going to make sure I didn't forget anything, because by all means, I did not memorize this. I might have some of the delays long, de 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 delays wrong or something like that. Uh, so, let's give this a try. So, I'm going to put in four arrows. And there it goes. 
All right, and you should see. Oh no, you know what? Don't think that. Don't think that one triggered. Oh, that's why I didn't trigger derp. Um. Yep. Herp. Herp. Derp. Herp. Herp. Yep. That would have exploded hilariously. Hold on. All right. That there. That there. That there. That. That. There we go. All right. That ought to work better. Take all those arrows out. And that would blow it up if that was working. Um, so let's try that again. Okay, so you can see that was turned off by the time the TNT was pushed into position. And now it is working. Flag clear. Second arrow's in position. And this is just going to be a whole minute. Um, third arrow's in position. Fourth arrow's in position. I don't remember how many arrows I had in there. And you can watch right there. As soon as that turns on, that will mean the TNT just blew up. And there we go. Boom. So that would have just destroyed it. Now, um, if you have seen some of my previous videos, you will know uh, exactly how this works. But if not, you probably won't. So if, um, just because I forgot this, go ahead and spawn yourself in a command block and place a command block right there and do slash time day. And when you paste that, if you have don't have the newest uh, newest version of World Edit, I don't know, I don't have the newest version of World Edit, then it won't save the uh, command. So you're gonna have to, um, so you'll have to, uh, uh, what's the word? You'll have to rewrite it. Um, but that's not really much of a pain. And then you'll also just have to make sure that's in position. And also when you paste it, um, sometimes this right here will rotate around like it'll look like this or something like that. Just make sure that it's facing towards the button, and you're good. So the next thing you want to do, very simple, just build some walls around it. Um, or world edit walls around it, that works too. So I'm going to make this giant. There we are. Darn, that is huge. Holy crap. <laughs> and obviously build a floor and a roof. Uh, so I'm going to grab my wand. And whoop. And whoop. whoop. Oops. And... Boop, and boop, and boop. And I'm going to come in here. Uh, so you'll notice it's actually pretty bright in here. And that is because of a lighting glitch, but still. Um, so, yeah, that can be a problem. Now, the, most likely the reason that it's not working. Well, first thing you want to do, go ahead and break a hole. And lead your hopper out. Uh, so whoever's the victim can be, you know, yeah. Uh, well, the next thing you want to do is cover up everything around the hoppers. Everything. Make sure that it is pitch black in there. Um, so you cannot see any part of the hopper or the green wall. Um, you just, you literally just want everything disappeared. You want no daylight at all. Um... And the reason behind this is this right here is going to contribute to our, um, to the, uh, undisarmable section of it. So, go ahead and make sure everything is nice and covered. Don't know why there's such a big lighting, lighting bug in here. Um, hmm, yeah. Alright, well, in theory, since everything should be covered should be um yes then in theory uh the daylight detector shouldn't pick anything up so let's just make sure this works um and i'm gonna put a daylight detector down nope not picking anything up let's make sure to one down here not picking anything up good um so that's just a lighting bug um now you might be able to guess how this works now um as soon as i if i have a daylight detector and as soon as i break a block then the daylight detector turns on, and you can imagine what's going to happen next. Kerboom goes your face. So just go ahead and lead your. Go ahead and place TNT there. Um, you know, place some TNT down here. More TNT. TNT is fun. TNT makes my heart warm and fuzzy inside. Yay! Huzzah! Hurrah! Potatology. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that ought to be enough TNT. Obviously, nothing, it's never enough TNT. Just go ahead and place some daylight detectors down on top of a couple blocks of TNT. 
put this like that, just like that. Make sure you put some on top too, just in case somebody tries to break a block on top and the detectors on the bottom don't pick it up. And there we go. We are good to go. So now you just want to get out somehow. Um, if you're an admin, just grab a compass. If not, go to spawn and just, you know, snag it like that. Um, now, if you want it to explode at midnight no matter what, you don't have to have that command block in there. Except, I like to give the players some time, except if they don't put arrows in there, it will explode at midnight. Which is sort of nice. Um, now, all you gotta do is just grab you some arrows, and I'm gonna copy this. Um, just so we can, I can prove that everything is working. And, oops. Oh, that's already position two. And I'm gonna come over here because I don't feel like blowing up my redstone area. And let's paste that mofo down. All right. So this right here is what's gonna happen when you um when you wanna you know place the curse onto somebody. The first thing you're gonna have to do is do this very quickly, break that and replace it. If you don't do if, if you don't do it that fast, then you're gonna like the TNT and you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, the second thing you're going to have to do is come down here, and I covered it up, which is a shame, but who cares. Uh, but you would just have to put the command back into your, your, um, your command block. Um, anyway, now that we got that done, um, just wait for the player to come online, or tell the player to go home if he is, happens, happens to be online, and um, you know, put some signs on it. So I'm going to put in... Uh, let's put in four arrows. Make sure you put all the arrows in at the same time. There we go. And it hasn't exploded yet. That's a good sign. So, lag clear. Lag clear. Lag clear. Oh, out of arrows. That's not a good thing. Aw, oh, didn't explode. Why you know explodes? Oh, derp. <laughs> I forgot to put TNT right there. Okay, well, yeah, that would have exploded, because you see that it's on. Anyway, so let's just say some, you know, some sorry excuse for a douchebag decides to uh, try to disarm this thing. So, yep, you're screwed. And there you go. Um, so I'm just going to paste this again real fast, just to prove that it really does work, and I just forgot to place a block. Um, yeah, just come over here and, oh, hmm, that's weird. Huh. Alright, well, yeah. Oops, surprised I didn't explode. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start this motherfucker up. I'm turning off the auto disarm. There we are. Um, so you see the blocks in position, and light clear, and there we go. Oh, oh, that's why. I had lag cleared the TNT away. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, and then, yeah, it explodes. Alright, um, well, that is about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I sort of had a blast doing this today. I always like making bomb videos, just blowing the crap out of stuff. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see y'all later. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, so thank y'all very much. For oh, God, there were four creepers inside of there. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, I think this is going to be the last video I'll be making for a while, just because I'm uh, unfortunately grounded. Uh, so... I will be seeing you guys later. If you need to get in touch with me, add me on Skype, which is Woodion, uh, or Woodion if I, I can't remember. Ah, uh, Woodion. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see y'all later. So, thank you very much for watching. Hasta luego, and I'm gonna come blow the creepers up. Hey, creepers. You're locked in. Oh, wait, there's only one creeper. Lol. <laughs> that was totally worth it. Good God. Alright guys, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Adios.